Okay, we're going to see if we can get access to these brushes easy enough. Now, I think they will be. Some alternators are real simple. You take the cover off here and get access to the brushes underneath there. And some of them you can't. Some of them you've got to pull the thing apart. So, well, let's find out, eh? First things first, uh, I had to remove the two 12mm here and that for the alternator main line there. Um, so, yeah, it just comes off there. And then two 8mm there. Oh, sorry, three 8mm there. Need to come off. Okay, so they came off fairly easy. I undid the four because it was grabbing, but when you look at it back here, I could put this one back on. I didn't need to undo the four. Just it's kind of like getting stuck or something there anyway. So the brushes are underneath here. Easy to access. I'll take this off and we'll have a look at the brushes. Okay, so the brushes are worn down. And I expected that. It's pretty all chopped up in there. I'm going to give that a clean so you can have a nice good look in there of the condition of that. But I think I'll just replace the brushes and put it back together. Right, I say, you can see it's pretty worn. I want to get a bit of focus on that. Yeah, it's pretty worn, but still usable. The brushes are worn completely down. But I have brand new brushes for another Denso alternator. I'll desolder the brushes, swap them over, be able to put that back in, but I won't be able to do that right now. I'll have a look tonight online to see if there's um, a bearing, uh, see if there's a um, Rike kit that you can buy for this to change the sleeve and uh, maybe go full hog on this alternator and recondition it. Uh, if I can't find the repair kit, then I'm just going to replace the brushes and put this back together and uh, make a recommendation to replace the alternator altogether. And there's the part number there. Okay, 130 amps, that's alright. Might have to get one of these alternators for my girl. I've got a Toyota that could use a big alternator. Getting the cover off this was a bit hard because it's actually melted but it's still usable. So I'll be replacing the brushes and I'm just going to clean up that area where it's melted up a little bit there and then I can change these brushes over and put the cover back on and you can tell by the notches here that which way to knock it off because it can only go back on one way. I'll show you when it's back together and this one here will be easy because being new it come apart easy. So you can see the new brushes versus the old ones. I've seen worse, but the sleeve on the alternator is um, fairly deep as well. So understandable why this stopped working. The new replacement brushes will get it working again. I just still got to look if there's a um, repair kit for the alternator itself. One new brush in. So this one here see the hole down there I'll try and make it a little bit bigger if I can not too much just get some of that solder away because it does make it trying to get a little bit of wire like that from a distance can be just as hard as putting a thread through a needle so to make it a little bit easier for myself what I do is just solder these two wires together and you can see there they're not exactly side by side because the hole I'm going through isn't going to be big enough for them to be side by side. So I sew them together like that. And that just helps me through. I cut it off the other side. Like you can see this one here. I cut it off this end here after the solder together. So I got that little bit of extra wire just to help guide it. See, just like that. Now I can pull on the back one softly as I push the front one through. And uh, once I get to the point where I solder it, I'll just curl it over like I did the other one and solder it up just like that it just broke off but at this point here if I slipped that would come out or spring unload and I'd be really annoyed so I've been here before I've done this before so I'm just going to curl that over I just bent it over and it's not springing back and I'm not going to let it either I'm just going to solder that now and it should be right and you can see there as I put it back together 
that locks up to that there so there's only one way to go back on and there you go like a new one I'll put that back in now I just wanted to point out because the sleeve on the alternator is worn you can see that there how that's worn into a particular groove the new brush has to take the same shape before it's 100% working and it's going to take a couple of weeks before that's happened because these brushes are pretty solid you know but um it's just going to be arcing and not really doing anything at first. Well, that's normally the experience anyway, but after I um, run for a couple of minutes and it starts to take a bit of a shape and get to contact, then that's when the alternator starts working. And then over a period of time, I'm only guessing a few weeks, over a period of time anyway, that's going to come into the groove and sit in there exactly where it is right now. Unfortunately, if I don't replace that sleeve on the alternator, um... It's only got a couple of years life in it, the way it is. So I'll look online now, see if I can find some parts. And just by chance, if I haven't mentioned it already, this is a Toyota part. I actually bought this to fix an alternator for a Toyota uh, over a year ago. So I've had this new part hanging around doing nothing with the intention to use it one day. And well, now today's the day. Not my intentional purpose, but nonetheless, it, um, this one fixed that one so the 12 bucks i spent on this one came in handy anyway and served the purpose and you can see the groove there possibly the grooves there that it has to come into before it'll start working 100 percent so well before the brushes are touching 100 percent that is it's going to work 100 percent as soon as the brushes make contact in there which will be pretty quick but the brushes won't be 100 percent contact for the first however long two weeks a month so a bit of cardboard in there let's use my finger for a bit of pressure just to help get it on to here i have to use two hands but this is going to help me slide the brushes over and then i can just pull the cardboard out okay just showing you this here so that's back in now now this is really a one one shot ticket so i tried to use cardboard cardboard wasn't working for me because the curve in that sleeve is just too bad and if you got this halfway down I made a mistake the brush is going to get stuck in there and it's going to be really hard to get it back out so now that it's in place bolted down I can pull this out and they're going to take pattern as soon as the car is up and running and ready to rock and roll and not to forget little dust cover go back on this is like that you can see the marks on both sides of how it sits so it does look a bit off center there but that's the way it sits and I'll put this back on like so bolt it down or nut it up anyway that's it there's no noise in the bearings the bearings are good so that's ready to get back on. Okay, so looking online and I'm um, searching up for the alternator by part number, and I can find a few alternators to buy. Some are really expensive, right up into the $900 range, and some of them are just over $200. Um, <clears throat> you know, and there's different um, makes for it, you got, because Kia and Hyundai. Um, you know, there's compatible parts there. So this is the first alternator that I found. It's got the correct part number. And it's um, $330, which is a, an a acceptable price. Doesn't look like the right picture, though, because it should be a mount on both sides, not just the one side. So I'd say that's the wrong alternator, so forget that one. There we go. It's the correct alternator there. But this does show you one side as well. So possibly you just can't see the mount on the other side with this one. Anyway, so this one's 214 so much better price. And this is the one I'm going to suggest uh, to replace with. But for now, the alternator's fixed, so it's going to go back in tomorrow. Um, and there's another one there, which is $260, which is also a really good price. And it's got all the... There, and it's got the compatible, you know... 2007-2009 compatible with the Sorento and 
more information there in terms of a year warranty. So that's a good option there. But if I was wanting to get the parts, I can't find the parts I want. I can find it like this, but nothing says Kia on it. And um, so even this here, even though this has got Kia on it, it doesn't have that, what I call a sleeve, is a, um, a slip bearing or slip bushing. Yeah, I just can't find anything for the Kia Grand Carnival. And so I don't know if these parts are compatible with each other. That sleeve there, or slip ring if you wish, if that's compatible, if they're all the same size, I don't play for enough alternators to know to switch that part over. But um, what I will do is, because I don't want to go spend $40 on a kit, because you've got here like $42 from the UK to the kit there, I don't want to go and spend $40 on a kit and find out that these bushings are too high up or too low down or the center of the shaft is too thin or too big you know because there's so many different things that one one or two mil wrong and this becomes a useless kit so i will suggest that um to replace the alternator altogether but right now this alternator probably lasts i'd say another five years at least if these new bushes but i'll say don't wait that long and get, get a new alternator as soon as possible but I may buy these parts later on when I replace the alternator again with a new one just for kicks and giggles sort of thing you know see if I can repair it and see if that there that part there um, is the would it fit you know can we just get away with using a part like that from a different kit or will it, you know do I have to track down the proper part so I'll just blow the 40 bucks later on and um, when I've got it and just see if I can repair the alternator for myself. I've only got a 70 amp alternator my Toyota and it's not enough to carry the big lights I've got on her. So wouldn't mind putting a big alternator on. And I'm all about customising stuff so she'll be right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. I'll um just break the bank. I'll just bake bake the bank. It can be just as hard as putting a needle through a thread.